stick of a third melee. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one at all. It looks like a Nyx Assassin mid. Uh, off lane tied in one position Weaver. We, we do have a new stand-in here for, for Power Rangers. Uh, Ditya, which I have not seen before at all. In fact, they were discussing it in the lobby. Um, him being a newer stand-in for Power Rangers and wondering who he was. Um, so it looks like he's going to be taking over the one position. Shotchlow still going for that off lane. Um, and... Yeah, so I, I guess a mid Nyx Assassin? Weird. The top lane, Cheshire Cat in a lot of trouble here. Ignite goes out. This is gonna be so close. Oh, there it goes. Koipa able to pick up that mid. And running away, Sing Sing and EGM trying to catch up with him. They do have a toss, throw him up in the air. Another right click should be able to do the trick. And there it is. Very dangerous combo. If you only die once or twice in lane, Ravage goes off. They're actually going to try and kill Sing Sing here. The anchor smash and right clicks him down just in time before EGM can get off that heal. Very well played. And another new comes in. EGM may actually die from this one. Suneko trying to get close for another. Won't be able to get it though. EGM healing them both back up with the bottle. Bulba. Doubt he's going to go for this one. Maybe with a Furion coming in, they can go for the kill. Shotzilla trying to protect his support as much as he can. Anchor Smash goes out. And Soneko may be right click down here. PyCat going in for another one. Will be able to finish PyCat. That's going to go to the Skywrath Mage. Just your cat will pursue on the Koifa. Needs to be able to hit another stun. Impale coming out in just a second. Will be able to land it with the Burrow Strike as well. And right click him down. He gets off another Liquid Fire. And that could ensure at least one kill here. Looks like Soneko's going to be going down as Bulba comes and right clicks him. Him. Shachlo will be able to have the Ravage here. He's going to pop it. Cheshire Cat having nothing to be able to add to this one. Shachlo looks like he'll be unable to get a single kill off of this one. And now Sing Sing coming in. Toss up in the air. EGM healing up his allies as much as possible. And it looks like Shachlo has no escape here whatsoever. As he will be going down. Anchor Smash helps him out for a while. Eventually, the right click toss somebody. There it goes. Sing Sing. Tiny actually missed his avalanche on the bottom of the ramp when he was expecting oh, PR to actually back off into the river. Double-headed dragon here. Koifa is going to be getting low. Should be going down to this last river. Weaver's Super diving in. He's going to get him. Oh, Jesus. He gets him now. Weaver's well. going to go for two. Going for EGM as well. Another right click. And he gets the double. Backing himself up. Runs into Bulba. Doubt he's going to want to take this fight. He's all out of mana, too. This could be pretty bad. The Jakiro. Will be able to land the ice bath. Did yeah, in some serious trouble. Gets tossed up. He's gonna have like a 13 minute agonims. Pie cat. Gonna be in some trouble here. The Vendetta is showing its strength here. Will be able to land the stun follow up. Skyrath Mage Ultimate completely overwhelms the HP points of the Furion. Now Bulba coming in, looking for the multicast. Unable to get on the Skyrath Mage. Relocate blocks and beautiful blocks here from the Trance. The dunk from the Sing Sing Toss is gonna be good enough to ensure the kill. Teleports in. And they're going to try and go for EGM here. Take away that relocate. Shikuchi through. Another right click. Oh, we need something a little bit more. Toss up in the air. Weaver now pop his ultimate back up. Top lane. We do have EGM where they EGM's win back. Going they to can the see him. They can see the bugs. J4 is going to be able to get him. Oh, he doesn't have any mana. Just the right click's good enough. Toss up in the air. J4 gets off the Sandstorm just in time. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Wait, I, I can't remember. But Sing Sing in some Definitely. trouble. Sing Sing in some trouble. Stun on to Burrow Strike. EGM, they're trying to pop both of them here. So Ravage goes down. Will be able to lock both. So him. Fairly easy fight. New on a shift your cat. Just a small little stun. Bulma will be stunned up by the Burrow Strike. They're going to drop maybe a little bit more. Tanker Smash will be able to finish him up. And now here comes Ditya going for Koifa, who's so damn tanky right now, but it doesn't matter. He's taking so many hits that eventually he's going to be going down here as the Weaver will Shikuchi right through him. Now PyCat's going to be up next. 15 to 11, soon to be 16 to 11. As Ditya just needs a little bit more, he's going to be going for it here. So Nako comes in. Another nuke gets that one. PyCat, a li little bit more health each. level 2 Vendetta. Oh, maybe they'll take this fight. Epicenter going down. They're going to make the jump. Sing Sing in some trouble. EGM in the, the back. Relocate, relocate going Double off and he will be able to save him just in time before the nukes can finish him off. And they did get the return Nature's kill. Pi Cat. Yeah, I guess so. Bottom lane. This tier one tower is going to be going down, but can they actually get a return kill? Nuke goes out. Not quite enough damage onto Koifa. He's got a little bit of action nuking damage. One more. And oh, he's got enough recovery. 20. Oh, no. The earth takes him out. So Nako will now be going down to the right clicks, but just your cat is here. Going for Pi Cat. Hits the two man stun and right clicks him down. Bulba. It's going to be. Oh, teleport into the bottom lane. Koifa, you're a very brave man. He should have seen what's happened to Bulba there earlier.
Just gonna throw out a little nukes, relocate in from behind. They're gonna go for Shancho. Ravage here, nuke goes off. Shancho getting low. He's gonna start walking himself away, waiting for the BKB to wear itself out, but he may not have that long. Tosses up in just a second, gets the blink away just in time before the right click. Now the teleport away. Sing Sing no longer having that BKB. Shancho ready with the Ravage. Let's it off, Macroplier on down. Shotzel getting low, will be taken out pretty soon here. Another right click, not gonna be enough. I can't get stunned up. As just your cat initiates from behind, get you going in deep here. We'll be able to beautiful burrow strike by J4 on two, but right into an even better ice pass from Koifa. Now did you? Nope, nope, oh, nope. Pycat, Pycat, that's a very, very dangerous jump in. He's gonna be caught out by just your cat to relocate coming in. J4 looking for a stun, epicenter possibly. If he can just get away, just your cat. Oh, Jesus, that damage. Sing Sing cleaves up one, cleaves up two, and now going for more. Hit you in the back. There goes the Ravage. Catches three there. And another Ravage coming up in just a second. Needs a little bit of mana boots. Can blink forward. And secondary Ravage coming into play. Ditya is going to be going for one of these tanky heroes. But who does he go for? Goes for Bulba. Takes him out. Ditya getting low. Unable to get off his ultimate. Already used it. Now Shotslo is getting beat to a pull bit by bit by Sing Sing. Sineko trying to help out. But Sing Sing's just too damn big. The Ice Path holds in Shotslo. Longer toss up in the air, and Shotzel is gonna die eventually. So much map control. Sink push into this middle tier two. Turn around, stun on the shift your cat. Already got off the spike carapace. Bounce up in the air. Sink sink. It's gonna be spending some moments thinking about whether or not that push was worth it or not. Is Koifa's gonna be up next? Gets hit by the Vendetta. They've got another stun. EGM coming in. Not able to throw out the relocate just yet. Shift your cat. Needs to be able to control one of these heroes. I think EGM's just holding on to it for now, but he's currently silenced up. Epicenter going down. EGM trying to get away from Soneko right now. Will be able to take him out. Relocate, not gonna be enough. Koifa now gonna be going up against these two heroes. Oh, the bounce around the force of nature takes out two. And Soneko now on his way out up against Koifa. Little bit of liquid fire here, another you know, ice pass. Plays into that, but I think he needs something like Heart or Butterfly. Because the amount of damage he's taking while he's stunned by Ogre or Ice. Oh god, the teleport in. They're gonna try for this. Pycat has already been gone on, but the relocate is gonna be the one that changes the deal. Oh, the toss actually saves him! Turn around, J4 will be able to finish him off. Now the Ghost Scepter going down. Burrow Strike, nice dodge of the Avalanche there. He's gonna need to be able to pop a little bit more. Dodges some, trying to get some distance away. Blink, blink, blink. No, not in time. Seconds. And Sing Sing has more than enough armor to save himself. So he's actually gonna turn this around. Actually gets the two man Avalanche and two man toss. And maybe no relocate, it's needed at all. Cheshire comes in, EGM, ready to pop the relocate. No, he actually holds off on it. They're gonna just let the Aegis go down. In fact, it looks like they wanna go for this fight. Boba comes in, blinks, gets Cheshire Cat. Nukes being dropped on Boba as he gets silenced up. And now the bug's gonna be laid down on him. EGM still holding off on that relocate, wants to be able to save it in case Sing Sing's in trouble. Oh, the Yule Scepter usage. Trying to save Cheshire Cat, four staff forward. Will be able to get a little bit farther. Swing hit, not enough. Now gets stunned up, Burrow Strike. Chain stun, a little bit more. Ravage goes off, shot slow. Ravage number two, they'll be able to get both of those. Oh, multicast <laughs> and the unrefined. Oh, no, he actually gets away. Burrow Strike up, blink. And he's... He's got no TP. He doesn't have a TP. Oh and now the ball spot him. Oh god. Oh Wait, god. No, get <laughs> so close. Oh, bro, strike across. They they know he's here. They Jesus, this may actually be worth it for J4. <laughs> at, the, at a certain point, he's going to draw so much attention from Team Tinker. Four staff? Another bro strike, another four staff to the oh side. My god, this is like full on minutes that we're talking about here. J4 is just oh, he's finally gonna be taken out. The toss in on with each. a refresher, right? So Oh, multicast one. Ice path gonna be laid down on him. Multicast number two. Shotso already down, pretty low. Shiva's gonna go up. He's ready, ready with the Ravage, if necessary. He will pop it. Turn around. Blink Dagger is up for him. If he wants to go for this fight, doesn't look like they want to. They need to be able to defend this top lane where already EGM and Sing Sing are beating through that tier three tower. They're only gonna get here a little bit late to the party. EGM, oh my god, he got the racks in the air. He's actually gonna leave Sing Sing behind. He pops the BKB, finishes off the range racks, now turns on to Seneko. Gonna be going for him. The big tank. Guy. Meanwhile, the bottom lane going for Kai Kim Pie Cat will be able to pick him up back up to top. Sing Sing being chased out. Cheshire Cat looking for a stun. Needs to be careful with its positioning though, as they just need to be able to kite him around. Now, EGM comes in. Nice stun. Cheshire Cat won't be able to get much else here. Oh, J4 actually will be able to get the stun onto EGM. Shot slow. He's going to try and slow him down, trying to catch up with Sing Sing. He's got a Ravage if he wants to blow it here. He can try and hold him in. Looks like just the Gush is going to be good enough slow for now. J4 stuns him up. Ditya will now start eating through those points. They just have to make sure they kite him around and will be able to successfully do so without losing anybody in the process. And whether or not Power Rangers can successfully beat Team Tinker in a team fight and then manage to just take all the Raxes 
and hold on to a big advantage or potentially go straight for throne or team tinker rebuff them and then just go right back to right, taking the leads with the tiny wrist combination. Yeah, just relocate straight back to mid, because look at the creep yeah, wave at exactly. top. That's, that's pushing him. Yeah, yeah, so there's going to be no backdoor protection. Oh, Ditya gets hit by one of the multicasts. As, uh, that's a nice little combination there. I didn't really think about that, but the Aghanims really helps with uh, popping the Aghanims and trying to be able to hold the Weaver in. Tier 3 does go down. Team Tinker are full up now, though. And uh, Power Rangers may not feel comfortable enough to try and push in and take advantage of the fact they know buybacks are down. Pycat sleeping in behind. Around. Oh he yeah, he's going thing. to go for J4. He's going to catch him out. Ravage, shot slow, in a position to be able to throw it down. Gets hit by the Avalanche. Now with the BKBs out, he's trying to hold on to it for as long as possible. They're trying to lay it in. Ravage goes off. They're barely able to hold in. Sing Sing, they get him down. They managed to pop him. Team Tinker now on the retreat. Pycat's going to be chased down. Shot show catching up with him. Good, relocate away. It's going to be able to save Pycat, and that is a must-have carry. Koifa in some serious trouble. Looks like he's going to be right-click down. Shot slow actually buys back, comes back into the team fight. Now Pycat will be hit by the stun. And sure enough, they're going straight for the buildings. They know they have no other options. There goes the Wisp. Bulba is going to be up next. Cheshire Cat teleporting back. Has to be able to defend his tier 3 tower. But at the same time, Power Rangers have less the Rethidur heroes in the building. And are going to be going to try and do what exactly? Do they actually go for the throne? Do they just go for the Araxes? They've got 70 seconds up against just a Fury. They go straight for the throne. Can Pycat go tier 4? I don't think so. I, I, I mean, he may try, but all he's going to keep back is just one hero. They lost that team fight so badly on the side of Team Tinker. One by is coming up. The Ogre Magi is going to be trying to run his way in. Not sure if they can really do this. Two versus four. Cheshire Cat is already delaying up the attempted push. Pycat's going to be coming in from behind. Even summoning some treants just for that extra bit of push. Tier 4 is down. They have to go for this fight now. Bulba's going to jump in, trying to let in. Oh, the silence goes out. Pycat has now been psyched to buy stuff. If he falls, he's not going to be happy. 90 seconds on the clock. And with only Bulba left alive, they don't even care about him, it seems. Turn around, sight the vice. They just keep on going for the throne. 1,500 health. It's over. Only a wisp is coming back. Kyle Rangers managed to secure the last team fight. And go straight for the throne, taking game number one up against Team Tinker. And I gotta remind people, I don't know if you know this, Durka, but the odds on Dota 2 Lounge are insane. 9 to 1. Yeah. 9 to 1 odds. Like, are you kidding me? Team